now in this lecture we're going to start styling this login form we're going to first select this form section class and then we're going to start styling to it so i'm going to just back to the login.scss file inside this login right here before this closing curly braces here i'm going to add a command a multi-line command like this and then i'm going to specify here a command called login form styling so this is the starting of the login form styling so i'm going to add here a command and then i'm going to specify here form section the class name you can notice here we have this form section class here i'm going to use this class and inside this class i'm going to first extend the text center so i'm going to say here at the rate extends and then i'm going to specify my text center class to center all the text just out of that i'm going to specify max width max width is going to be 400 pixel that's upon you you can specify your own value here just out of that once I have the max width of this login form, I'm going to specify margin to it. Margin is going to be zero to the top and bottom and auto to the left and right. So it will just align all the content of this form at the center. Just for that, I'm going to extend a class called width 100. Now, I don't have this class inside my extends. So I'm going to open my extends.scss and here I'm going to create this class. So I'm going to simply create here a class called width hundred and then I'm going to specify here with 100 percent save this file back to the login.scss and I'm going to just extend that class here just out of that inside this form section you can notice here I'm going to have this title and inside this title I have this h3 heading type I'm going to select that so what I'm going to do is just out of this extend here I'm going to say title so I'm going to first select the title class like this so I'm going to just select a descendant title class of this form section and just for that I'm going to specify some margin to it so I'm going to specify here margin 10 pixel to the top 0 pixel to the right 50 pixel to the bottom and 0 pixel to the left side so I'm going to specify top right bottom and left position just for that I'm going to select the descendant h3 heading tag and for that I'm going to specify font size and it's going to be 25 pixel when I save the changes you can notice I'm going to have the styling something like this just out of that here I'm going to specify extends and now I'm going to create a class called font bold. So I'm going to just back to my extends and here I'm going to create a class called font bold. And to this class I'm going to specify font width is going to be bold. Save this extend back to the login.scss and save this file as well. So this will just add font width to this title. Just for that I'm going to add color here. So I'm going to say here color. And I'm going to use here hex value. So I'm going to specify some hex value here to this color. Now, if you want, you can create a variable in SAS file as well and specify that variable name instead of specifying this hard coded value. That's upon you. Now, let me save the changes and just back to the login form. And here you can notice inside this login form, I have a div with the class name login inner form. I'm going to select that. So just down here, just after this title, right down here, I'm going to select a class called login inner form make sure the class name is exactly same here I have a login inner form so I'm going to specify the exact name inside my SAS file otherwise the styling will not work so inside this login inner form I'm going to specify first the extend feature so I'm going to say here extend and I'm going to extend a class called position relative you can notice here in my extends I have this class position relative I'm going to use that here just out of that I'm going to specify my color and I'm going to specify hex color here so I'm going to use here hex color like this save this file just out of that let me open my login form and inside that I have a class called form box this is my custom class form group is a bootstrap class and form box is my custom class so I'm going to select my form box custom class and style it so inside this login inner form, I have a class called form box. I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to specify float property is going to be right. Just for that, I'm going to use the extend to extend a class called with 100. This will specify with 100% to this division type. So I'm going to have the result something like this. Just for that, I'm going to specify extend again. And I'm going to add a class called position relative so this is going to add a position relative to this form box 
and you can notice inside this form I have a button here and I'm going to have a bootstrap class to it btn primary instead of using the bootstrap class to this button I'm going to specify my own class and specify my own styling to this button so I'm going to leave the btn as it is because it will specify the basic styling of bootstrap to this button and I'm going to add my custom styling to it so I'm going to add here a class called primary btn this is my custom class so I'm going to call this class in my login.scss just after this form box so just down here I'm going to add a class called primary btn and to this primary btn I'm going to specify first background color so I'm going to specify here background and I'm going to specify hex color here so I'm going to use here hex value like this and just out of that I'm going to extend the width so I'm going to say here extend and specify here width 100% and save the changes you can notice I'm going to have the result something like this just after that I'm going to specify border which is none and then I'm going to specify color to the text so I'm going to specify here hex color like this just out of that I'm going to specify box shadow box shadow is going to be 0 0 5 pixel to the spread and then I'm going to specify RGB alpha color so inside this RGB alpha color I'm going to specify 0 0 0 and then I'm going to specify here 0 0.0 so this will just add a light box shadow to this button you can notice here just out of that I'm going to add some padding to it so I'm going to add here padding 10 pixel to the top 30 pixel to the right 9 pixel to the bottom and 30 pixel to the left just out of that I'm going to specify here cursor which is pointer so when you hover on the button you will have the cursor something like this just out of that I'm going to specify height to it and height is going to be 45 pixel just out of that I'm going to specify border radius which is going to be 50 pixel and margin top is going to be 20 pixel as you can notice I'm going to have your border radius and the margin top 20 pixel so this will add some margin to the top side of this button just out of that let me create an hover effect on this button to create an hover effect it's super easy in SAS file so just down here I'm going to add here reference to this button so to add a reference I'm going to use ampersand here then specify colon and add hover like this so this and refers to this current class and this hover is the pseudo selector of CSS so when you hover on this button I want to specify a background color so I'm going to specify here background and I'm going to change this background color and specify different hex value to it like this when I save the changes and when I hover on this button you can notice I'm going to have this effect to this button so I'm going to just change the background color of this button when I hover on it now just out of that let me style this input text boxes so as you know inside my login form I have this input text boxes inside this form box so I'm going to open that form box you can notice here I have this form box here so inside this form box I'm going to style my input text boxes so I'm going to add here a comment and say style input text box so just down here I'm going to select the descendant input text box so I'm going to call a class input text I already have this class to this text boxes you can notice here I have this input text class to both this input text boxes so when I specify styling to this class I'm going to have style to both these text boxes so here I'm going to first specify font size which is going to be 14 pixel then I'm going to specify outline which is none I'm going to remove the outline of this text box and then I'm going to specify color color is going to be the hex value so I'm going to use here my hex value like this then I'm going to specify border radius 50 pixel just out of that I'm going to specify here border 1 pixel solid and it is going to be transparent just out of that I'm going to extend the background so I'm going to say here extends and then I'm going to call here background class now as you know I don't have this extend background class inside my extend so let me just back to the extends and create this class here background and inside this background I'm going to simply specify a background color so I'm going to say here background and specify hex color here save this file back to the login and save this file as well 
just out of that i want to add some box shadow to this text boxes so i'm going to copy this box shadow property from this button and specify that here save this file i'm going to have the box shadow to these text boxes like this and just out of that i'm going to specify padding to it padding is going to be 11 pixel 45 pixel 11 pixel again and 20 pixel and i save the changes i'm going to have the padding something like this oops i just specify here border it's not border it's border radius when i save the changes i'm going to have the result something like this just out of that i'm going to specify here width so i'm going to specify add x10 and i'm going to call a class width 100 so this will specify 100 percent width to this input text boxes and just out of that i'm going to add here margin bottom which is going to be 10 pixel this will add margin bottom to this input text boxes as you can see my login form styling is now completely ready